Hello guys, Major Golden here, and today I'm going to be showing you a manual aim howitzer tank. And let's get started. Also, on a side note, this build is very hard to use by any traditional means, and personally, I even only use it on tunnel maps or maps with really tight and close spaces like the Undertower maps. Keep that in mind if you ever decide to use this. It will not work on big open maps unless you know your enemies are just heavies and tanks. Because all that will take is one lightweight or lighter burst joint that can just fly all around the place and you're screwed at that point, so keep that in mind. First off for the body. HDG AADA Roland Head C B209 Core AR M W48 Hikebo Arms and I had to accidentally selected these. For the legs, you might use the LTA 122 legs. And that will give you around for stats 1906 KE 2212 CE 2911 TE with an energy recovery of a whopping 10k. You're like, whoa, how do you have so much 10k? How do you have so much? Just a balanced generator. Well, I'll tell you how. First off, manual aims don't consume almost any energy, as you can tell. And as for the SCS, you will want to use. Let's see. You will want to use these right now because they have the lowest, the any, uh, lowest energy consumption out of any of the SCSs, and honestly, if you don't, if, if you, you could, you, yeah, sorry guys, if you could put the option for where you did not even have an SCS, that'd be great for this build, because you don't need one, you're not going to be able to log on with any of these weapons, but you can't, so you want to use this one, because it has the lowest consumption. As for the generator, I chose the GA319, because it's a good just because it's the best balance generator, and if I were to use this, I would only, I would have like 9k regen, but I don't know, it just wouldn't regen enough, and this build, you need to move a lot, you can't just stand still, you need to like, swipe them, basically, the ones I like to use, but are a little tricky to use because of their ammo, is the AUK L12, and what you want to do is make sure you have these reverse magazines on, and if you find you're having trouble keeping ammo, then you might want to switch up to these. You'll have twice as much ammo, more explosive force if you know you're not making direct hits, but you're getting them with the splash damage. You definitely want to go with these, the AUK G32s. And then you want to use the Muratory multi reverse magazines, reserve magazines, my bad. And if you're still having ammo troubles, which you probably will be, you can always switch over to these little shoulder unit arms. The only thing is, you will lose almost all your armor. That's the only downside. So let that be an incentive to, if you're going to use this, you best be knowing what you're doing. Because this kind of build is not for the faint of heart. It's very hard to use, but if you can actually make contact Literally, if you've got one good shot in, where everything just hit right on the mark, it's an insta-kill. Like, you, there's, there's no questioning. Instant kill. Because one, just one shell from just one of these does 15k straight up damage, plus 4k explosive damage. And it fires multiple rounds. That's the thing. It fires like three to five rounds. I can't remember the exact position. It doesn't say it. But that's a good, if just one volley from each of these, where you just get direct hits, that's an instant kill. But you can also do in some maps, where in the tunnels, just streak it across from where they are to where they're going, if you're at it with a ladder thing. So you can actually make the hit with splash damage, at least. And I like the call of doing that, just the scorched earth, just nade palming wherever they are, just, just carpet bomb. No, not napalm, carpet bomb. I like to do that, just whenever you're in the tunnel out with a lightweight, just carpet bomb, just look at where they're at, and then when you pull the trigger, streak towards where they're going really quickly. Just basically their whole area they're at is just gonna be blown to hell. And when you do that, it'll help a lot. And for the back weapons, you wanna use the AUF, K16, fully expected power, 
uh, heat howitzers, so that if you do run out of ammo, you still have some howitzers on you. Each of these fires, like, I don't even know the number on these either, more or less, probably around 5 to 8, something like that. Don't get me I'm probably wrong, so don't go on that. But each, every single shell that comes out of each one is 3,086 CE. CE? So, they're pretty good. And quite honestly, if you get good enough, I've actually uh, shot a lightweight bouncing around at a good range with these and actually killed them. So, it depends. All of them, it's, this, this build is very hard to use, but it has a high payout if you can learn how to use it. So, uh, guys, if you uh, like the build, if you went out into a sortie and just blew someone to hell carpet bombing the shit out of them, just leave a comment below about your experience using it. Like I said, it'll be very hard to use this, but if you can if you can actually make it work, it's really good. But a lot, it's a lot of you that might try it might not get the same. Like, experiences may vary, basically. So if you like the build, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.